Fantastic weather welcoming the 15th annual Imagine Walk in Warwick's uh, Goddard Memorial State Park this Sunday. Our own Danielle North behind the mic as all ages walk to support the Autism Project of Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono was also there and he has our report from the control room. It's estimated about 8,000 people showed up for today's walk, and as I spoke with people there, it became clear there is a broad network of support. There's no way the Autism Project can do what it does without your support. The faces in this crowd represent real families facing the challenges and the joys of being united by a loved one with autism spectrum disorder. People like Brenda Cody, this is her first walk. Her son Connor was diagnosed last year. It's challenging, but with the supports that Connor's been receiving through school and um, you know other facilities, especially the Autism Project, um, I also took a class there, so I'm learning a lot. Um, but yeah, we're getting through it and we just take it day by day. Over the last 15 years, more than a million dollars has been raised supporting the Autism Project, which in turn funds therapeutic programming for children, teens, and young adults. They always say you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Everybody is different, and um, you know, just to kind of get the you know get the word out and educate more people would be great. It's okay to be different, and that there's nothing wrong with it. Megan Rinaldi heads up Meg's mission. She attends one of the summer camps organized by the Autism. Project project. They know like how you feel, like they understand people like me and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be me. I'm glad to have autism. I'm glad. According to the Autism Project, one in 68 children is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. That translates to more than 10,000 Rhode Islanders. I'm Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News.